Hello, good evening. Hi, Xiomara. Can you listen to me? Hello guys, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Ahorita, ahorita aquí voy llegando a la casa. Ah, I'm just getting home. I mean, that's cool. Todavía no, pero ahorita ya, ya está pero sonando. Ya, ya casi, casi. Ah, okay. Man. Basically, you are, you, are, you are at home already. Yeah, good, sí. evening, good evening, Carlos. Hi, Joanna. How's everything? Okay, I guess most of you are getting home. Most of you are like just getting ready for having the class, right? So let's see, we're gonna be uh, waiting for the rest to get connected. All right, just talk with the things that we got for tonight. Uh, just give me one second. I'm just loading the, you know, like the attendance list just to start with tonight's topic. Actually, tonight's topic is going to be very interesting. You know why? Because now, even though we're going to continue with the, you know, like the future structure, I mean, related to hotels, all right? Uh, now we're going to be discussing another, how can I say this? Another structure to create future, put it that way. Yesterday, we were talking about hotels and amenities, if you remember. So today, we're going to continue talking about hotels, but with the difference that we are going to be focusing in one specific structure. So yesterday we were not practicing any structure. So today, yeah, today we're going to be practicing one specific structure. And it's one, you know, like related to, uh, as, as, as I said before, it's related to simple, simple future. All right, just 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 give me one second, guys. I'm just making making up some things in here. I don't know why this it's not loading. I am in this. This is loaded. Already. Give me one second. Okay, cool. So uh, now that I got the attendance list fully loaded, let's start over with this. Uh, Andres Joel. Mm, Andres, okay, he's not here. Uh, Carlos Mauricio. Mm, okay, Carlos is not here. Cindy Melanie. Okay, she's not here. Stephanie Michel? Present. Yeah, okay. Good. Let's move. Ivania Jamilet? Present. Ah, okay, excellent. Jacqueline Patricia? Jacqueline, all right, she's not here. Mm, Joanna Sarai? Present, teacher. Teacher okay. present. Ah, what's up, Carlos? Okay, I'm not putting it here. I thought you were not here. Okay. Good. Jorge Alberto. Jorge. All right, he's not there. Jose Edgar. 
I am in his present there. Juan Emanuel. Okay, it's not there. Julio Cesar. Uh, I guess he's working. Karen Beatriz. Present. Okay, good. Carla Lisette. Present teacher. Ah, okay, very good. Let me see who's next. Raquel Stephanie. Raquel, I like this. No, yeah. Let's move, Veronica Areli. Present. Okay, very good. Wendy mm, Jamilet. All right, she's now here. Uh, William Ernesto. Present teacher. Yeah, okay. Very good. Let's move, Xiomara Elizabeth. Present. Okay, very good. I just need a second. Carlos Jose. Present teacher. Okay, very good. And we got the last one. Uh, Reinaldo Chavez, which is not here. I mean, this Reinaldo se lo conoce como tres clases. No apareció. Uh, Okay, all right, Raquel. So I'm not going to add you. Ah, okay, all right. No problem. Ahorita la ponemos en la lista de asistencia. <laughs> okay, okay, Julio, de Joanna, de estar peleando. Okay, good. Now let's continue with with the things that we got for tonight. Uh, if you remember yesterday, we were talking about hotels, right? Hotels. And now, people, let's make a short feedback from that in order to start. You know, like with the new topic that we have uh, in part of the continuation. Okay, talking about hotels. Uh, if you remember, as I said, we were talking about hotels, but we were discussing specifically some type of services that some hotels offers, right? When you go to uh, their fa facilities and everything, right? So remember, facilities are like instalaciones, right? Okay? Good. So what are those services, the ones that we were practicing yesterday? Related to hotels. Do you remember them? Sí. Feedback. Okay. Carlos, can you mention some? Estoy hablando sobre, o sea, lo que quisiéramos, ¿verdad? Eh, que, te, bueno, que tuviera una comodidad el hotel. Ajá, exacto. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. All right. That was part of it. That was part of it. Good. So yesterday we were talking, right, so about some extra uh how can i say these services that you would like a hotel have right and you were discussing that at the end i remember uh, we completed that that homework that we were practicing so but what are we going to be focusing tonight on what look tonight's topic is going to be related to this structure check this out to this. All right. So let's remember this is the video conference number 17. Three more video conference besides this one, people, and we basically finish this module. So this is like pretty interesting. So let's start over with this. So remember, the topic is how to use be going to. Okay. Good. Before, before, uh, co before continuing with this, ¿alguna vez no habían escuchado sobre esta estructura? Sí, teacher. Usted dijo que no nos hablamos todavía, que más adelante le vamos a usar. Exactly. Creo, eh, es muy a futuro. I going to. Exactly, exactly. If you remember, uh, yeah, I mean, we were saying that uh, a few classes ago, 
sí recuerdo que les mencioné hace un par de clases. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's part of the process. So today we're going to be discussing the positive, uh, you know, like sentences using this structure, the negative sentences and the question forms, right? So we have a lot of things to do tonight. <sighs> so let's start over with that. We got a class agenda. What is the most relevant for today's class? Check this out. We're going to have a review from the previous topic. Okay, we're gonna be continuing talking about the hotels. After that, we're gonna start off with a conversation related to, you know, like the structure, just to get to know the structure. Then we're going to be talking about the explanation of be going to, how to use it, what is the structure, examples. You are going to provide some examples to me. Okay, so we have a lot of things to do. Then we're going to go back to the manual because we have some exercises to do and then, you know, like work in a general way on the manual. So that's pretty much what we have about this structure. Okay. So it's just going to be, you know, like easy for you guys because if you remember uh, in the past, in the past module, we were like just, just working on this. Okay, before starting with the short conversation that we got in there, we have some questions to discuss. Check this out, some questions to discuss. All right, what are those questions to discuss? Example, uh, let's say, William, do you, can you please read this question? Uh, do you prefer to stay in mother or anti antique 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 hotel antique hotels when you travel? Ah, okay. All right. In your case, sir, do you prefer to stay in a modern or antique hotel when you travel? Uh, the mother. Why? Um, aunque depend, depend the teacher, porque eh, hay hoteles que manejan lo antiguo y es como bien, bien dicen que a veces lo, lo viejo no pasa de moda. <risa> Pero a veces uno como, como cliente quiere ver cosas nuevas también, innovaciones. Ah. Mm, okay, yeah, understandable. Okay, good. Thank you, William. Somebody else that shares your answer, please, your comments, ideas about which hotel do you prefer? A modern one or antique one, right? An old one. ¿Cuáles son de su preferencia, people? Quisiera escuchar algunas participaciones de sí, Jorge, y estarlas mencionando. Let me see. Just share your opinions. Uh -huh. Ladies and gentlemen. Yo trabajé en los Marriott. Y ahí los de Estados Unidos venían y lo que más les gustaba como gente de negocio era que hubiera internet de punto. O sea, la velocidad es lo mejor, va. Mm -hmm. Y lo otro que había un móvil checkout, que es una aplicación que se descargaba en cada celular y usted ya no tenía que pasar al front de hacer el checkout, sino que solo salía y él automáticamente hacía el checkout. Ah, really? Le gustaba más lo moderno. <coughs> oh, man, I didn't know that. Okay, good. Yeah, I mean, in that case, we, uh, they would prefer some modern things for you instead of antique things. Okay, good. Somebody else? Thank you, Julio, by the way. Somebody else? Alguien más? Let me see. Okay, like when you go on a on a on a trip to a hotel, Veronica, which one do you prefer? A modern one or antique one? Mm, depende, quizás si es para trabajar o algo así, quizás son modern. 
pero también me gustan lo rústico y lo clásico y quizás para ir a, de paseo preferiría mm. un antique. Ah, ok. All right. No, I mean, in that case, it would, be, it would be perfect, right? An antique one instead of a modern one. Okay. Good. Good. Now, let's, let's read the next. Carlos. Chavo or Gamero. You, man. I can't like send you the microphone. No. Dele. Okay. Uh, do you usually make your, your hotel a reservation or someone else? Does it for you? Ah, okay. You're right. Listen up. Do you usually, okay, make your own reservation, hotel reservation, or you have someone else to, to do it for you? When you go uh, on a hotel, all right, and you have to book a hotel room, do you do it or somebody else do it for you? ¿O nunca han hecho una reserva en hotel? Yo lo hago, so, yo, yo lo he hecho. Ah, okay. You have done, done it personally? Good. ¿Lo ha hecho sí, para porque, usted, para alguien más? Eh, sí, porque uno sabe cómo quiere las cosas y también lo he hecho para alguien más porque me indica cómo lo quiere también, cómo quiere la habitación. Mm, okay, okay. Acceptable. So in that case, it's acceptable. Good. Uh, let's see. Uh, Mr. Mauricio, how about you? Do you do it by yourself or somebody else do it by, for you? Yes, uh -huh, yeah. Nah, okay. So, usted nunca, nunca las hacía. No. Mm, okay. All right. That might be a, uh, that's acceptable. Okay. Cool. Thank you, Carlos. Let me see. One more participation. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. And you, Joanna? You do it when you go on a hotel ah. or somebody else do it for you. Me da risa como busca la, la víctima, fíjense. <laughs> yeah, man, es que estoy buscando y voy a preguntar a los que tienen la cámara apagada la mayor parte. Este, este fíjese que no me encargo de eso en el trabajo, sino que se encarga eh, Raquel. Pero generalmente ah. cuando mis familiares vienen, sí se les hace la y no se quieren quedar en el cantón porque Ay, pues sí va. Ay, es mucho polvo. <laughs> Ay, cabal. Sí se las hago en hoteles, pero lo más básico, la Una habitación sencilla. Ah, ah, ok. All right. That's acceptable. Good. Ah, so Raquel is the one in there. Is that true, Raquel? Ella es la master en eso. Es donde la mira, todo calladita. Is that true, Raquel? ¿Es cierto eso, Raquel? Y no me diga que no está ahí, Raquel, porque creo que sí está ahí. O será que Le no. Me la lengua de los ratones. Raquel, are you there? Hey, yeah, I mean, it's true. Every time I, I, I try to talk to her, nah, I mean, she, she say nothing. Raquel? Mm. Okay, let me guess. She's not, she, she, probably she doesn't want to speak or something like that. Oh, she's not there. All right, good. Uh, let me see, one more participation. Let's ask this to a very humble person, a person who doesn't, you know, like uh, fight with others. Let me ask Carla. Uh, Carla, you, you have done hotel reservations or somebody else has done that for you? Por eso no he opinado, teacher, porque yo nunca he hecho reservaciones en ningún hotel y no he ido a ningún hotel. Entonces, por eso no. Ah. He participado en esta vez. Ah, what? You have yeah. never gone to a hotel? Yeah. Never? Never. Aunque no lo crea, teacher, es en serio. Really? Sí. He pasado a la parva, pero ya entrar y ver cómo es, no. 
<laughs> okay, I mean that's that's incredible. That's, that's... No, I mean incredible in the aspect of uh, I mean neither on the beach when you go on, on to the beach or something like that. No. No. Okay. Mm. All right, may happen. May happen. Me creo. Eh. Yo, yo he ido a ciertos, a mí no he ido a ciertos lugares que muchas personas creen que yo he ido, pero nah, never, right? All right. Mm -hmm. Sí, sí, ya está igual que usted, porque a veces me dicen, mira, has ido a tal lugar, y yo, no. ¿Y aquí has ido? No, no conozco. Ah, y yo, ah, ok. <laughs> ok. Now, I mean, probably, probably you don't have friends to go with in those type of places. A lo mejor, sí, no, 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 los, digamos que sus amistades que la rodean no, no, no son de esos que, ah, vámonos para la playa y vengamos hasta mañana. That's why. That's why. <laughs> All right. Así es. Y que el trabajo no deja tampoco. Eso. Te invito y vos pagás. No, exactly. <laughs> para la próxima, the next. <laughs> Next time, next time. Okay. Good, good. All right, that's acceptable. All right, let's start over with with the rest of the things that we got. I mean, that's 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 crazy. That's crazy. Okay, good. Now, what are we gonna do, people? Because I think most of you are already there. Uh let me see. Creo que ya es la estructura, no? Yes. All right. Uh I just want to show you the presentation but before talking about the structure i would like with to practice the conversation instead right me gustaría que vieran la estructura ya en context on the spot en la conversación para que veamos más o menos cómo es el funcionamiento de la estructura dentro de una práctica right eso lo vamos a hacer primero y luego vamos a ver en silla detenidamente Cómo la estructura funciona, right? When making positive statements, negative statements, and of course, questions, okay? Good. So for that, I will ask you people to go to page, go to page 41 from the manual. Para los que tienen el, el manual impreso, go to page 41. Mayanse la página 41. Right? That's the one that we are going to be working at right now. Give me one second. Nah. I'm going to project it in here. All right. This is the one. Listen. Up. It says, listen to your teacher read the conversation, then practice with a partner. A phone call to a hotel. Right? So basically, this short conversation is related, people. Is related to listen up calling to a hotel all right to make a reservation that's the reason of this conversation but let's see a little bit what is that about okay this is a conversation between jen and gerardo okay let's say listen it says jen hello thank you for calling the golden star hotel listen Hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen. This is Jen. All right, I want to stop in here. Listen, I wanted to stop in here. Cuando nosotros, and I'm going to say this in Spanish for you to understand better, man. Listen, cuando nosotros estamos en una llamada y no conocemos a la persona que nos está hablando, por lo general, no se le pregunta, what's your name? Ok. Y por lo general, nosotros no decimos, all right, porque si me encontrase con, yeah, que Carla, Verónica, o Carlos, whatever, o alguien de ustedes, right, on, in person, I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna say, like, like the way it, it is in the conversation. I will say, ah, my name is, right, Juan. Just, just an example, right? My name is Juan Carlos, like that personally speaking but in a phone conversation it is not it is not common to say my name is juan carlos it's not common what is the most common part this is juan carlos in a phone conversation you say this is and then mention your name for example this is carla speaking this is carlos speaking this is emmanuel speaking right 
So, entonces, para decir, ah, yo soy fulano de tal, entonces es this is. And how do you write down that part? Uh, let, me, let, me, let me put it in here. Uh, I'm, I'm just doing this because I, I, I want you to be clear with this. Put it like this. This is, and then in here, you put your name. This is. Like in this example. Look. Like in the example in here. It says, this is Jen. All right? Ahí está evitando decir, my name is Jen. That's what it is. All right? Give me one second. Okay. Good. Y Chari, eso siempre es una forma formal, o eso sería informal. Yeah, I mean, that's a formal Ambos. way. That's a formal, yeah. that's a formal way, right? Por lo general se puede usar ya sea formal o informal, pero siempre por lo general cuando estamos en una llamada, eh, siempre es this is. Ah, okay. Solo cuando estamos en llamada se utiliza exactly. eso. Exactly, right? Y usted va a decir, ah, this is Carla speaking. Ah, mi nombre es Carla, o Carla es la que, la que está en el teléfono, right? Y, listen. Y cuando nosotros queremos saber, right, quién es la persona que está llamando, si no sabemos el nombre, no es, what's your name? We don't generally ask, like, what is your name? No, we generally say this. Give me one second. We say like this. Check this out. Who's this? Who's this? Ahí está contractado. Uh, yes, sí, ¿quién es? Yes. Who's this? It's like, ah, ¿quién es? Right? That's the common question. Who's this? Right? So you might say, ah, this is William. You see? That's the way. Good. No sé si algunos de ustedes ya sabían esta, estas formas de, de cuando se habla por teléfono. No, es primera vez para mí. No, I mean, that's cool. So take notes about that, right? Take notes. No, I mean, that's cool. Take notes about that. Okay, good. Let's, let's continue. Time. Okay, perfect. Let's continue with this. Let's say, this is Jen. How can I help you? This is Jen. How can I help you? It says Gerardo. Hello. Hello. I need to make a reservation. I need to make a reservation. It says Jen, sure. Sure. May I have your name, please? May I have your name, please? Okay, it says Gerardo. Of course, I'm Gerardo Gomez, right? In here, because of the question is different because it says, may I have your name? Por eso acá ya no es, this is, all right, Gerardo. No, it's like, I'm Gerardo Gomez, all right? Because the question is completely different. It says, may I have your name, please? Right? Of course, it says, I'm Gerardo Gomez. This is Jen, all right? Jen says, thank you, Mr. Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When, listen, the structure goes here. The structure to make future goes here. When are you going to arrive? Listen up. When are you going to arrive? Okay, it says Gerardo. I'm going to arrive on Friday 14th. I'm going to arrive on Friday 14th, it says, Jen, how long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? Listen, how long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? Good. It says, Gerardo, I'm going to stay. Listen. I'm going to stay until Monday. Until Monday. It says, Jen, are you going to make... Listen. Are you going to make the reservation... The 
reservation for a single or a double room? For a single or a double room? It says Gerardo, a single room, please. A single room, please. Okay. If you take into context, the structure is over there, right? In positive statements, like this one, this one is a positive statement, okay? And this is a question form, right? And this is a question form. This is the way how it works, okay? This one is in first person. The question and the answer, of course. Okay, good. From this vocabulary in here, do you have any question? Any doubt with that vocabulary? Tenemos alguna pregunta con relación al vocabulario? Something that might be unknown for you people? Algo que no esté del todo claro para ustedes? Might be pronunciation or something like that? Everything clear, Carlos? I think so. <laughs> I think so. Okay. All right. Yeah, I mean, if you don't say anything, if you don't say like anything, it's because everything is perfect. Teacher. Tan claro como esta noche. Aha, William. Until eh, significa hasta. Until, yeah, hasta. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Very good. What are we going to do? I need to listen to you practicing this short conversation, right? Y para eso, sí, me gustaría saber quiénes son los que realmente estamos acá y podemos practicar, okay? Por lo menos por un par de segundos. Enciéndame la cámara los que están, uh, los que podemos practicar, please, para identificarlos. Going to este. Yeah, no exactly. exactly. Ahorita vamos a practicar la estructura en la, en, la, en la conversación y luego la voy a desglosar gramaticalmente hablando, ¿ok? Con ejemplos y todo eso. That's the way we're going to do it right now. Good. So, ok. Julio is there. Emmanuel, are you there? Emmanuel. I mean, sometimes he got, he got, he got lost on the, on the yeah, internet. Yeah, yeah, I am. Yeah. Okay, perfect, perfect. Jacqueline, are you there? I need to know if you can practice this short conversation, Jacqueline. Necesito saber si podemos practicar esta conversación. Are you there? Miss? Mm. Okay, I guess she's not there. I, I, I guess, Cindy, you're working, right? Or can you practice this conversation? Why not, Jacqueline? I mean, come on, Jacqueline. Nos vamos a ir. <laughs> Jacqueline, y no voy a conocerle ni la cara. <laughs> this is, okay, good. Let me see. Uh, and I mean, Edgar is, is still working, I guess. Uh, uh, uh. Raquel, are you there? Oh my God. Why are you laughing, uh, Joanna? <laughs> I, I guess you know something. I guess you know something. It's okay. No, it's you. Nothing. Okay. All right. Good. So let me see. Uh, Karen is still on her work. So, okay. It's just going to be Raquel, Edgar, Cindy, and Jacqueline. I mean, and Karen. Okay. Give me one second, people. I'm going to stop this and let's go to practice. I'm going to create the groups manually. Give me one second. Teacher, yo perdí mi manual. ¿Y qué lo estoy haciendo en el teléfono? Lo siento. Lo perdí en el hospital. Dejo un punto a mi favor. ¿Y por qué es un punto a su favor en el hospital, Nel? <laughs> Téngame lástima, me estoy muriendo. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> okay, give me one second. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to make up these things. Uh, okay, mm -hmm. I'm gonna put him with this person, and I'm gonna put up an LCD. 
Alright. Alright, just give me one second, people. I'm just doing this manually, and that's why it takes me more time. Oh my God, but I got three people in here. Yeah, que le hubiera participado, mire, por eso tengo que hacer otra cosa. Okay, just give me one second. Teacher, si quiere, póngame a mí. Ah, can you? Yes. Okay. okay, all right. Thank you, thank you. Okay, okay right now, I'm gonna put it. Give me one second. This ya la había enseñado, donde la tengo. Give me one second. Number six. Move to number six. Okay, for the three. No three. All right, I'm gonna to move to number six to get three. Okay, perfect. I got the groups. So let's open it up, people, and let's go to practice. For a couple of minutes, then we're gonna come back and continue with it, you know, like the explanation of the grammar part. Let's go. Okay, let's go enter and practice people. Aunque con un, con un poquito de interferencia. Vale. Voy a pero más, pero ¿no? no siempre. Por ratitos. <laughs> I'm coming, people. I'm 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 going to to look for the <laughs> the computer charger. Okay, give me one second. Okay, teacher. Okay. Bye. Hello. Thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen. How can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure, may I have your name, please? Of course, I'm Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday for two. How long are you going to stay with you, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. Okay. Estamos ready, entonces. Comience. Yo soy bien ahora, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. No encuentro la imagen, la perdí. Ahí tengo que encontrarla. Va, aquí está. Bye. Hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen. How can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure. May, I, may I have your name, please? Of course, I am Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you? Oh, please. Ahí empiezo yo. Okay. okay. 
Hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jane. How can I help you? Hello, are you new to make your reservations? Sure, may. Okay. Hello. Thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. Yeah. How can I help you? Hello. I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I am Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. Where are you going to arrive? I am going to... Hello, thank you for calling the Golden Stair Hotel. This is Jane. How can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course, I am Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gerardo. Go, uh, Mr. Gomez, when are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 14th. How long are you going? Yes. Yo sé que tenemos una duda. Eh, en, en una de las tareas hay una mm -hmm. parte que se la voy a... Bueno, no sé, aquí no se puede compartir, pero... Eh, está lo de, por ejemplo, la parte 4 del, del examen final uh -huh. es igual de las tareas normales, no sé si la 16 o 17, pero fíjese que por más que le ponga, le quite punto, le haga lo que sea, no me deja pasar. Porque es donde, sí, es donde dice, por ejemplo, dice, las la, la instrucciones son complete the, sentence, the sentences using uh -huh. the form of be going to go, going to, perdón, the bear in brackets. Y está la number one que dice he y está el espacio his friend. Y entre paréntesis dice to phone. Ok. All right. Give me one second. I'm, 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 I'm going there. Ok. Ahorita vamos Porque a ver. solo eso me hace falta, le digo yo a su madre, que para terminarlo y no me deja terminarlo por eso. Really? Yeah. Vamos, vamos a verlo. All right. Part four. Parte cuatro, ¿verdad? Eh, no, esa, eh, esa, esa no, esa no es. Es de la parte 4. Ya, yeah, por eso le digo, parte 4. Sí. Ah, va, ahí, 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 esa. Por ejemplo, yo las últimas sí me, ya las pude terminar. De la, de, ah, you de, mean de this la... one, this one, right? Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, esa. Vamos a ver, esa. dice, instructions. Complete the sentences using the form of the going to plus the verb in brackets. In brackets mm -hmm. significa esto, va. Tu fondo. Uh -huh. Sí. Vamos a ver. Aquí solo vamos a poner la palabra porque lo dice las dos formas. It Todos... is going uh -huh. to phone his friend. Vamos a ver. Tal vez. Ah, ya, 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 ya vi cuál fue el error. Vamos a darle enviar. Ay, me parece. Oh, les... Ajá, le sale. Es que. His friend. On his friend. Vamos a poner el punto. Tal vez eso es. No, no lo deja. Uh -huh. También incluso lo que hice es solamente poner la palabra go to, porque, porque supuestamente ah, el espacio. Tal vez solo to. esa es. Tal vez solo esa es. Vamos a ver. No. Ah, okay. Sí. ok, I give up. Las demás yo las hizo. Todas, solamente eso me hace falta. Obviamente hay una lección Vamos de, las ver, tareas, entonces, de, las, de, de las tareas normales que está, es justamente este detalle. Mire cuál es. He's going to phone. <risa> He's going to phone. Ah, o sea que solamente de poner. Ah, ya, 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 ya. Ya, ya, ya. Ahí está, mire. Ya, ya, ya. It's going to fun. 
Man, this, this ah, is crazy. Yeah, yeah. No, hombre, imagínense lo que no. Y de verdad. No, me he estado, no, bueno, yo, yo igual me estuve, pero quebrando la cabeza como no es tenía que, idea. Es, de... es que mire, listen. Es que fíjense que nosotros a veces nos vamos así, yo me voy en colada también. Pero es que aquí mire cómo dice. Complete the sentences, complete las oraciones. Uh -huh. Usando las formas del verbo to be. <coughs> que es is, are, o lo que... Lo que exactly. Lo que, según, be, be plus going to plus the base uh, of form of the verb in brackets. Ah, o sea, ahí lo está, ahí lo está diciendo. plus la forma, la forma base del verbo. <risa> no, ahí está, no, man, no. ahí está. All right. Ahora ya lo tiene entonces, ¿ok? It's ok. Bueno, okay. Ah, pues, okay. Esa es la, la, la duda que tenía porque de ahí no pasábamos. Ah, perfecto, perfecto. Sí. Ahorita vos. Voy a ir a un, bueno. al, a un breakout room porque me están solicitando ahí, ¿ok? Va, ya con, la, ya con esto ya, ya Good. estamos. Yeah, perfecto, perfecto, perfecto. Uh, what happened, Emanuel y Michelle? I don't know. Maybe she lost the connection. I mean, but she hasn't said anything. All right. I mean, that's, uh, I, I think she's coming. Nah, she's try. coming. And I mean, this is for sale, Edgar. No, nah, but Edgar is, is, is as a listener only. Okay. Vamos a ver, vamos, nos vamos a ir ya al, 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 you know, like, let's go to the main section. And if she's there, okay, uh, you practice in there with her, okay? Okay. Cool. Hey, Michelle, what are you doing here? Emanuel was waiting for you. Me sacó, teacher, y no me conectaba. <laughs> Jesus, man. Okay. No problem. No problem. Okay. Let's practice in here. I'm going to project the, the presentation in here so you can uh, uh, give me a second. Go into there and practice. All right. Antes que otra cosa pase, Michelle, I want to listen to you and Emmanuel. Okay. Uh, hello. Thank you for calling for calling the Golden Star oh. Hotel. This is Jem. How can I help you? Emmanuel. <laughs> Emmanuel. Mame, he's there, he's there. I know he's there. Marcho. <laughs> no, no, man, he's there. Okay, okay, go on, Emmanuel. Go, go. Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I am Gerardo Gómez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 14th. How long are you going to stay with you, Mr. Gomez? With us. I'm going to stay, I'm going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single? Or at the room. A single room, please. Okay. <laughs> All right, very good. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> Jesus. And Emmanuel, thank you. Thank you to you both, guys. Okay, let's continue with this. Uh, let me see. Uh, Carlos, uh, Chavez, let's go, man. Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay. Hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen. How can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure, may I have your name, please? Of course, I'm Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 14th. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? With us. I'm going to stay. With us. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are you going to stay until Monday? Are you going to make the reservation for a single or double room? A single room, please. Okay, very good. Thank you, Carlos and Veronica. You did it excellent. Let me see who's next. Xiomara and William, if I'm not wrong. Yes. Okay, let's go. Hello. Thank you for calling the Golden Star Headline. This is Jane. How can I help you? Hello. I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course, I'm Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday, 14. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. Excellent, thank you. Thank you, people. All right. Uh, now, next, Carla. Then look at the other side. Carla, is your turn. And Joanna. Ah. Ace. Se va Joanna. Okay. <laughs> Modo serio. <laughs> Hello. Se rieron hey, detrás. ¿En serio? ¿Diego? ¿En serio? Hasta se rieron a mí de allí. <risa> okay, okay, boy. Okay, go. Hello. Thank you for you calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen. How can I help you? Hello. I need to make a reservation. Sure. May, may I have your name, please? Of course. I, I'm Gerardo Gómez. Thank you, Mr. Gómez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 14. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay on their Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or, or a double room? <clears throat> a single room, please. Okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, very good. Thank you, Carla and Joanna. You did it excellent. Let me see who's next, Mr. Gamero. Let's go. You and Julio, right? Mr. Julio. All right. Good, man. July, man. July. <laughs> now, nah, man, let's go. July. Let's go. Hello. Well, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen. How can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure, may I have your name, please? Of course, I'm Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday uh, 14. <laughs> How long are you going to stay with, with us, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? A uh, single room, please. Okay, very good. Thank you, Julio. And Carlos, you did it excellent. Let me see who's next. Nah, da, 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 da. No, Raquel has not, has not participated. Karen, any money, right? Yes. No, okay. Let's okay. go. Okay. Hello. Thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen. How can I help you? Hello. I need to make a reservation. Sure. Please. Of course, I am Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I am going to arrive on Friday 14. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I am going to stay until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? 
Awesome or wrong, please. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you, Karen and Ivania. Uh, let me see who's next. Uh, do we have another group? Let me see. Okay, no, I mean, we don't have any other group. So those are the ones uh, who participated. Okay, cool. What are we going to do now, people? Listen. Give me one second. What did I do? All right, just give me one second. I'm going to put this away from here because I don't want this. Ah, okay. Nah, man, I'm, we're going to do this later on. All right. Now, I need to explain to you what are the uses of this structure. But before doing that, just give me one second. I need to do something. Okay. Perfect. Okay, let's go to the grammar explanation part. Okay, it says be going to. All right, that's the structure, okay? Recuerden, esa es la estructura principal, okay? Be going to. What happened in here? En toda estructura, let's remember, in every structure that you use, if you see be and then going to, Remember, B can, can have more than one word to be written. For example, remember, B is mostly am, is, and are, okay? Three forms in simple present. From B, we got three forms, am, is, and are, okay? So those ones are the ones that we are going to be using in here with this structure. Let's talk a little bit, as I said, about the structure. Check that out. We have the subject plus be going to plus base form of the verb plus complement. This is a structure for a positive statement, okay? A positive statement using future. Now, do we have one example? Yes, we have some. But before that, let's start reading this part. Okay, let's see. Uh, Ivania, can you help me out reading this short definition about be going to? We use be going to describe the schedule activities and activities that will definitely happen in the future. Now, nah, okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you. Listen. We use be going to to describe the schedule activities. Actividades planeadas, right? That's a schedule activity. An actividad que usted ya tiene prácticamente agendado que va a ser. All right? And it says activities that will definitely happen in the future. Y actividades que definitivamente van a suceder a futuro. Okay? So that's pretty much uh, where and when we use be going to. Example. Mm -mm -mm. Michelle, can you read this one for me? Michelle, where, where is Michelle? Michelle, are you there? Michelle. Teacher. Ah. Eh, sobre este tema hay una actividad yeah. en la plataforma, yeah. pero yo ya lo hice de esta forma y de muchas más y siempre me da error. <risa> ya leí bien la indicación, como dice. Debe, sí. déjeme, déjeme adivinar. Examen, parte 4, eh, ejercicio 1. Es parte de la tarea 17, ¿cierto? Sí. La tarea no, 17 y 18 sí. no me no encuentro respuesta alguna sobre eso. No, y ya lo intenté varias veces y no. Vaya. Siempre me da error. Vaya. Vamos a ver. Voy a dejar esto un momento acá. Y vamos a ir a resolver esa parte, ¿ok? Give me one sí. second. Give me one second. You said tarea 17, ¿cierto? Sí. Ok. Vamos a encontrar la solución. Don't, don't, don't worry about that. All right, give me one second. I'm going to project the platform in here. 
just give me one second. I have very uh, slow the internet, and I don't know why. Mm -mm -mm. Joanna, is it raining in San Miguel? Eh, poquito. But it's raining. Sí, pero está así, se va subiendo. Oh, okay. Está llorando por poquito. <laughs> okay. All right. Good. Let's jump into that. Uh, let me see what what is this. This is homework 16. 17, right? Sí. Okay, this one. Sí. Uh, you, you, mean, you, you mean this one? Sí. Okay, listen. Okay. Listen. Sometimes this happens because. <laughs> hasta yo me voy ahí, ¿verdad, William? <laughs> Porque a veces. Eh, hey, que hasta que... usted se fue. Ficha, hasta usted <laughs> se fue. Por eso le estoy diciendo que hasta, mí, hasta yo a veces me voy ahí que no, no me acuerdo. Listen, ¿cómo dice la indicación? Listen, instructions. Complete the sentences using, listen, using the form of be plus be going to plus the verb in brackets. Le, lo que le está pidiendo es ahí, be más be going to más el verbo en paréntesis. ¿Ok? Exacto, así lo he hecho yo. Ok, ahora bien, si dice he, he is going to phone his friend. ¿Así lo tiene? No, tiene, no se, ahí lo está poniendo incompleto. Ah. Pero es que mire, solo le pide be going to más el verbo. Y, para completar la oración. <risa> Y yo lo ponía completa. <risa> ah, vaya, es que juegan con nuestra mente, ¿ve? ¿no? Hasta yo me fui en la sí, primera. Sí, sí. <risa> Dicho, estas son, estas son como exámenes psicológicos. <risa> exactly, alero, me la edad, man. Yo ya <risa> perdí todas, entonces. <risa> Gran desorden tiene Joana. <risa> no, me dice. Ahí, es... ahí me ayudó Raquel porque yo estaba escribiendo completamente todo. En serio. Ah, Yo sí. That's cool. No, pero así hay algo, ¿ok? Así hay algo. And it's good, it's good uh, for you to, to have said that, porque así pues proyecto acá y, y, y así no tienen ustedes como esa entretención, ¿ok? Right. Y, y la tarea 18 prácticamente va a ser casi igual, ¿verdad? Ok, give me one second. Oh, ya, ahorita lo proyecto, vamos a ver. 18, that's one. Ah, se tiene que utilizar uno de los verbos para cada una de las oraciones. Ah, ok, dice, mire, use, ajá, uh -huh. use the following verbs in order, in order to make imperative sentences. Ah, pero estos son los verbos en orden, dice, ¿va? Tenemos clean, help, call, close, and give, en orden. Es help o es help call, porque ahí no está separado por coma, que puede ser como que fuera un solo. No, en that case, give me one second. Sería uh, four, five. Uno solo, one, uno two, solo. Three, four, five. No, de hecho no, porque son cinco. Mire, uno, dos, tres, uh -huh. cuatro, cinco. One, two, three, four, five. For five sentences. For example, check this out. Clean your shoes. Vamos a ver. Can you see? Solo de poner nada más el verbo, nada más. Yeah. Esta no entiendo yo también. Nah, ¿Qué no comprendemos ahí? Uh, es que no es poner el verbo. No era poner sí. todo también. <risa> no, si solo dice use the following verse in order to make imperative sentences. <risa> simplemente Ahora, lo que le falta. No es la oración completa. No, simplemente es lo que le falta a la oración. <risa> ok. It's just what is missing. Ok. Good. I mean, de hecho, va a ser interesante ese tema mañana. Mañana. I mean, el lunes. Ah, por cierto, people, listen. No sé si ya les llegó o les va a llegar el lunes o mañana. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know when. Pero les va a llegar lo del el link de la encuesta de satisfacción. Please. A mí ya me llegó. Perfecto. Sí, ahora, ahora lo recibí también. Perfecto. No lo hayan hecho, people. Remember, lo hacemos el último día. Okay. ¿Cuánto el sería? Eh, sería el miércoles, si no hay ningún problema.
sería el miércoles que ya terminamos, porque ya con este es clase eh, prácticamente 17, entonces nos faltan tres clases más eh, prácticamente para terminar right, el módulo. Recuerden, lo vamos a hacer entonces el miércoles. Y recuerden que cuando lo hagamos, pues va a tener que enviar un screenshot al grupo, ¿ok? Por eso. Y pues y antes se podía hacer, digamos, en reiteradas ocasiones eh, el test, pero en este caso, ah, mira, el test, la encuesta. Pero en este caso, eh, debido a, a cosas de Isafor, pues nos han solicitado que seamos bien enfáticos en eso y que lo hagamos el día de, eh, a mí, que terminemos el curso, porque así, si ustedes tienen alguna duda, no se vayan a equivocar, porque en esa encuesta eh, no se pueden equivocar, ¿vale? Right? Para que no vaya repetido. Things like that, okay? Good. Uh, let's continue then. I'm going to stop in here, this thing. And let's go to. You know, let's go to the explanation uh, on the grammar part. But before doing that, I'm, I'm going to pass the attendance list because it's time, man. It's time. Jesus Christ. It's time. Andres Joel. Man, Andrés is not here. Uh, Carlos Mauricio. Present. Good. Cindy Melanie. All right, this is present. Uh, Stephanie Michel. Present. Nice. Ivania Jamilet. Present. Very good. Jacqueline Patricia. Jacqueline, are you there? Hello. Ah, okay. Let me see. Ah, uh, Joanna Saray. I'm here, teacher. Nice. Jorge Alberto is not here. Jose Edgar. Okay. Good. Give me one second. Ah, uh, Juan Emanuel. Juan Emanuel. Sorry, present. Ah, okay. Good. Let's move. Karen Beatriz. Present. Okay, very good. Carla Lisset. Present. Nice. Raquel Stephanie. Present. Ah, man, nice there. Ah, revivió. Cool, man. Nice. Okay, good. Uh, Veronica Arely. Present. Excellent. Wendy Yemen. I mean, Wendy. Wendy got a lot of time without showing up. William Ernesto. Present. Excellent. Omar Elizabeth. Present. Very good. Carlos Josue. All right, and the last one, Reinaldo Chavez, which is not here. Okay, good. Let's continue. Where did I have this? I mean, I had this. Okay, good. So we got the example in here. Look at this. Uh, William, help me out reading this example. I am going to have class tomorrow night. Okay, very good. I am going to have class tomorrow night. So what happened in this case? Aquí pues ya básicamente tenemos eh, una actividad que está previamente uh, calendarizada, por así decirlo, right? Planificada. So that's why we use uh, this structure to make a schedule events, okay? And if you take a look in here, listen. After the structure, after this part, be going to the main verb, el verbo principal. Eso. Give me one second. I did this too, too, too long. I'm going to put it this. Okay. If you take a look in there, this is B. This is going to. And in here, you have the main verb. Okay. This is the main verb. And the main verb, it has to go in base form, okay? 
Recuerden, acá el verbo principal tiene que ir en forma original, ¿ok? Forma base, por así decirlo. El, el going to, por lo general, esta estructura in here siempre va a ir. This one siempre va a ir. ¿Qué es lo único que va a cambiar? Es esta parte acá. This one. ¿Por qué va a cambiar? Porque va a depender del subject que tengamos. Acá okay, como es I, por eso tenemos am, ¿ok? But probably uh, with sentences with you and things and things like that, right? Uh, we might say it, it depends on the on 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 that that you're going to put it on, right? Give me one second. Okay, okay, Cindy, no problem with that. All right, I'm just going. Give me one second, people. Okay, let's continue. Check out this is another example. Uh, uh, um, if you take a look in here, it says, you are going to work next week. So as I said, listen, if you take a look in here, as I said, this part, it remains the same. Going to permanece lo mismo. El verbo cambia in here. Ok, but it's in base form, pero está en forma base igual. Y acá ya no tenemos am, tenemos are. ¿Por qué? Porque acá tenemos you. Ok. You are going to work next week. And it is like, ah, trabajarás la próxima semana. Ok. That's the meaning. Trabajarás la próxima semana. That's what it is. So let's remember, this ones are positive statements, okay? The next one, uh, 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 Michelle. Uh, she is going to prepare, prepare dinner. Prepare, okay, the dinner. So if you take a look in here, we got she. Aquí ya estamos con una tercera persona, por eso tenemos is. Ok, porque pertenece a los singulares. And then we got going to. It's an app. Going to. And in here, you have the main verb. Acá tenemos el verbo principal. And this one is just a complement. All right. So if you take a look in there, that's the way how we, all right, uh, have this structure in context. Y bueno, entonces así es como esta estructura es distribuida en primera persona, second person, and singular nouns. All right? With this, do you have any question hasta acá? ¿Todo va bien o tenemos alguna pregunta? Any question? Teacher, o sea que es going to ya solo, solo va para para el verbo o sea no sé que no 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 puedo explicarle cómo 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 así Digamos, Carlos el the going to ya solo solo se va para para el verbo ya se sabe que es para futuro cómo exactly. trabajará exactly el going Ajá. to simplemente le sirve para indicar que la oración está en futuro el be going to simplemente le sirve para decir ah esta oración es para futuro. Going to no tiene traducción. Así, así de sencillo. En este caso, be going to no tiene traducción. Y siempre recuerde, tiene que ser be going to. Cualquiera de las formas de be. Am, is, or are. Right? Y luego el verbo principal, of course, tiene que ser en forma base. Right? It has to go in base form. Todo el tiempo. Right? Forma base. Good. Any other questions? ¿Alguna otra, otra uh, pregunta, duda? ¿No? ¿No? Ok, perfecto. Let's go. We got a series of practices in there. Let me see. Ah, yeah, I mean, we got some extra examples. 
Check this out. Carla, help me on reading this. We are going to the homework. homework, homework. Repeat again. Me trabe, teacher, lo siento. Yes. We are going to do the homework. Excellent. Very good. That's the way, right? Good. Let me see. Next one, uh, 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 Joanna. Hola, teacher. Read the, read the example, please. The second one. They are going to play soccer. Okay, very good. They are going to play soccer. You see? Now, next one. Uh, Julio. Students are going to finish class on Thursday. Thank you, mister. So students are going to finish class on Thursday. Not you, right? You finish on Wednesday. Nice. Next example. Let me see who can help me out with this. Emmanuel. Carla is going to visit her family. I got Carla's example. I am in a school. Yeah, you Okay. All right, Carla is going to visit her family. You see, in that case, podemos reemplazar el he, she for un nombre propio, right? A proper noun. Good. Next. Uh, let me see. Raquel, can you please read this one, please? Please, please. Hi. Miss? Hola. Ah, okay, good. Can you please be so kind and read the last the last example for me? Jose is going to buy a new car. Okay, thank you. So if you take a look in there, we can put people's name in there without any problem, right? Without any problem. So let's read the last one. Uh, Carlos Jose. I didn't listen that much. Repeat, repeat again, Carlos. The dog is going to bark. Ah, okay, very good. What is that? What is bark? ¿Qué significa bark? No sé yo. <laughs> the dog is going to bark. For example, if I have a dog and, uh, you, and you come to my house, so the dog will start barking. It's going to bark at you. Como ladrar. Yes, it's ladrar. Okay. Bark means ladrar. Okay. So the dog is going to bark. El perro ladrará. All right. one now that you got this series of examples and now that you know how to you know like do positive statements using be going to in all its forms positive you know the first person positive second person and positive singulars what are we gonna do before moving on to the negatives because we got negatives right now but before moving on to negatives I want people from you one example, all right? From the schedule events that you're going to do tomorrow. Uh, okay, what are we gonna do? Listen, I want, 
Yes. No sé si soy yo, pero soy un ruido. Sí, es que... No, man, es... Ya, ya es tú. Ok. Nice. Ok. Ya, yeah. all right. Listen, what are we going to do? Quiero que me elaboren un ejemplo sobre una actividad que ustedes tengan que hacer este fin de semana. Ustedes sepan que lo van a hacer. Right? What is, what is that, that really, really sure activity that you are going to do tomorrow or probably on Sunday? Okay? Give me one example about that. All right? Mention that activity. Let's create one example. Right? About you. Okay. When you finish that one, when you finish your example, let's choose one member of your family. Escojame un miembro de su familia. Probably your mom, your dad, your sister, your wife, your dog, anyone. Okay, choose one and then mention one activity that person is going to do this coming Sunday. Right? What this person is going to do is going to do on Sunday. Okay? Future. Remember, just future. Ahí lo que quiero es que practiquemos la tercera persona, right? That's what, it, what, that's what I want. Entonces, en total serían dos oraciones, okay? Two sentences. Let me know when you finish, okay? Just let me know when you finish. Es una positiva o una negativa. No, one positive for you about the activities that you are going to do this weekend and choose one member of your family to make a per person example with one member of your family. It can be your husband, your son, your what, your mother, your father, anyone. Okay. Both sentences are positive. Teacher, yes. Eh, se me ha olvidado la palabra en inglés, eh, mariscos. Shrimp. Screen. No, let's put seafood. Seafood, okay. Mm -hmm. Teacher, tengo dos, pero no sé si están bien. Ok, let's go. Eh, my sister is going to work all day. Ok, very good. Y I am going to sleep late on Saturday. I am going to sleep? Late on Saturday. Ah, ok. Very good. Yeah, I mean, both are correct. Thank you, Michelle. Okay. You finish, turn on the microphone and read your, your, your samples, okay? Tengo una teacher, a veces okay. también. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> Edwin is going to eat seafood on Sunday. 
Okay. My mother is going to watch the chess. Okay. Very good. Yeah, man, both are correct. Okay. Thank you. Who's next? Uh, my son is going to visit grandmother. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go to church. All right. I am going to go to church. Sure. Yes. Okay. Go to church. Go to church. Ah, que so. Como ya estaba el primer tú, yo dije otra vez tú. Yeah, I mean, it has to. Tiene que. Ah. Tiene que. Okay. All right. Good. Thank you, Julio. Uh, somebody else? Me. Okay. I am going to go to the supermarket. Okay. Y tengo que decir la otra. Yes. Um, my brother is going to run. Okay. It's going to? To run. Ah, all right. To run. To run. Yeah. Very good. Thank you, Xiomara. Somebody else? Yo, ya terminé. Okay, okay let's go. Uh, my aunt and I are going to church on Sunday afternoon. Okay, very good. Uh, my sister-in-law going to wash the clothes. Is going to wash her clothes. The clothes, uh huh. Oh, no, the clothes. The clothes, clo uh, the clothes in general. Uh -huh. Okay, all right. Very good. Thank you. Somebody else? Me. Okay, Emmanuel. I'm going to apply an exposition in two months. Mm, okay, very good. My family. Are giving me a coin. Give me a present. Okay, just to start something, Emmanuel. Read that. Read the last one. My family mm -hmm. are going. Be. Mm. No. Uh, the thing is that you got my family. Are going are right? Oh, give me. Okay, listen. La palabra family, a pesar de que abarca una gran cantidad de personas o un grupo de personas, la palabra family es singular. Singular. Yes. Entonces nosotros decimos, my family is going to. My family is going to. Ajá. Give me. Give me. Uh -huh. A person. Exactly. My family is going to give me a present. Very good. Thank you, Emmanuel. Somebody else have finished? Yep. Okay, let's go. I am going to travel to Chalatenango. Okay, my to, sister to visit, to visit a person here to visit Veronica. <laughs> uh, no, a cobrarle a Veronica. No. <laughs> ah, bueno, si sí, puedo hacer una visita. <laughs> okay, para una, una carta ahorita. Traer algo. Cuidado, Veronica. La carta, cuidado. la carta, le voy a llevar la carta. <laughs> <laughs> para que pase a pagar. <laughs> no. <laughs> en descuento también si quieren aprovechen never never <laughs> ok let's continue <laughs> my sister is going to visit my grandmother abuela creo que así se dice I am in grandmother. grandmother yes yes ok mm, ok very good there you go. You see? Normal visit without any type of charge. Visit is normal, sin, sin cargos adicionales. Okay, good. Let's continue. Mira la manita ahí, ahí por la ventana, sacó así, por la cortina y dice, sí, correcto. La mano de like. Okay, somebody else? Teacher. What happened? 
Okay. Okay. I am, and it's, it's you. Okay, Carlos, go. My son going to eat pizza tomorrow. My son is going. Okay, it's to going. It is going to eat pizza tomorrow. Okay, very good. My but son is going to. Eat I'm going to see the final Champions League in two Saturdays. Man, y me la restregó así en la cara, así. La va a ver y yo me trabajando ese día. <laughs> man, I, I, I start working at eight and I finish working at five. So I won't see the game. <laughs> that's funny, man. but that's cool. Enjoy the game and enjoy the game. It's going to be a good game. But anyways, let's continue. Thank you, Carlos. Now, let me see who, who else is missing. ¿Quién me falta? Uh, let, let me see. Yo. I am in Asmi. You, Veronica. Mili, creo. Okay, go. <laughs> um, I am going to begin a seminar next week. And my brother is going to swim on Friday. Ah, okay. Very good. Thank you, Veronica. Nice. All right. I guess it just it was just her, right? Creo que solo era ella. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, I think it, 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 it's only Veronica. Good. So let's continue with this. Now, those examples were in positive statements. Remember. Now, what happened to negative statements? Check this out. We got the structure. And what uh, should we add to the structure in this case? We should add this. Look, what is the only difference? The only difference is this. Not. This is all right. How come? So we got subject plus B. Remember, with B, it might be um, if or are. all right. And then we got plus not after not, we got to say be going to all right. And then the main verb, then the main verb, and finally, finally, the complement. Okay. Very good. Now we got one example from this. Let me see who can help me out with this. Emmanuel, help me out reading this this example. I am, I am not going to have a meeting tomorrow. Okay, very good. I am not going to have a meeting tomorrow. That's something that is negative, right? Something that I am not going to do. Algo que pues no vamos a hacer. Perfect. Xiomara, read the second one. You are not going to call your clients. Okay, you're not going to call your clients. Excellent. Next, uh, Michelle. Uh, she is not going to buy a new computer. Ah, okay. She is not going to buy a new computer. Okay, very good. Nice. If you take a look in there, the only difference between the positive statements and the negative statements is just this part. This one. All right, this one. I just, just, damn it, that good. It's this one. Look, not. And that's it. She is not going to buy a new computer. It's like, Ah, ella no comprará una computadora nueva. So you see, that's making, okay, a statements in positive. And for the future, of course. All right, you got another one, William? He is not going to go out. Okay, very good. He is not going to go out, right? Es como, él no saldrá. Okay, very good. All right, from here, people, do you have any questions? 
¿Alguna pregunta con esta estructura en negativo? Something that might not be clear, algo que no esté del todo claro. Eh, lo que dice la estructura de que el verbo que cuando dice main verb, I mean, uh, uh, repeat it, the, your question again, Carlos. Carlos. Are you there, Carlos? Okay, I guess he got problems. All right, but if you don't have any other question, what are those plans that you don't have for tomorrow? ¿Cuáles son esos planes que ustedes no tienen previstos para mañana, que no tienen que hacer mañana? For example, I am not going to stay in my house. I have to go to work. So you see, I am not going to go. All right, listen up. I am not going to go. And then you might say the place, right? I am not going to go, for example, to the academy. All right, so that's pretty much what we have about negative statements. Do one example. Vamos a ver cuáles son esas actividades que ustedes no tienen planeados para mañana. Quiero que me hagan un ejemplo. Let's do one example with that. Tengo una cosa. Good. Let's go. I am not going to play soccer. Okay, very good. You're not going y, to play soccer. Y I am not going to rest tomorrow. <laughs> Me neither, man. Me neither. I am not going to rest either. Yeah. Very good. Thank you, William. I'm not. Okay, Emmanuel. I'm not going to go to the beach tomorrow. Okay. And the second one? Ah, no, no, I was just kidding. Okay, cool. Thank you, Manuel. No, man, I was just kidding. Somebody else? Alguien más que la he terminado? Me. Okay, let's go. I am not going to wash my clothes tomorrow. Okay, very good. Somebody else? Alguien más? Ya lo terminó? Yo te cheque. Okay, cool, Carlos. Let's go. I am not going to drink beer tomorrow. <laughs> okay. We had a good example, man. Good. Good. Let's say. Está preocupado, you, Carlos, ya vi. <laughs> yeah, I mean, eso es lo que veo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Let me see who else. Who else is 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 is. Como dijo Carlos. No me escuchará ahora. No, ah, man, I, no, man, I, I don't listen to you that that much. Casi no lo escucho. Yo a teacher. Okay, give me one second. Okay, Michelle, let's go. Uh, I am not going to work on the weekend. Okay, very good. You're not going to work on the weekend. Good. Uh, my sister is not going to eat pupusas tomorrow. Okay, very good. There you go. Somebody else? Just, just like All right, Ivania, let's go. I am not going to cook tomorrow. Okay, excellent. Uh, I am going. I am not going to water the garden tomorrow. Okay, excellent. I am not going to water the garden tomorrow. Okay, excellent. Let me see who's missing. Hmm. Did you do one, uh, Joanna? Did you try doing one? 
Peter, como no me entiendes, se lo escribí ahí en el chat. Ok, let me see. Ahorita vemos. Ah, I am not going to be at home tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, that, that one is that one is cool. That's correct. Okay, I'm not going to be at home tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, I have to work the whole day. Eight hours. But anyway, well, actually more than eight hours. But that's okay. That's okay. Cool. Veronica, do you have your example? Um, I am not going to work tomorrow. Ah, uh, okay. Lucky you. Good. Man. All right. Nice. Da, 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 da. Who else is missing? Uh, okay, good. I guess nobody, nobody, nobody is missing. Now, let's jump. Give me one second. This is the one. No, okay. good. Now, let's jump into the question forms. Ya estuvimos viendo entonces sobre positive statements, negative statements. Now, let's go into the question forms. The structure. Check this out. This is like completely different to the one. All right, we were discussing a few moments ago. This is different. Okay, we got some examples. Michelle, help me arrange the first one. Hey, are you going to buy food tonight? Okay, cool. Are you going to buy food tonight? Like, ¿comprarás comida esta noche? You see? ¿Qué es lo único que hacemos? Invertimos nada más una parte. ¿Cuál es la inversión que se hace? Ah, el you pasa a ser segundo cuando te será primero. Y básicamente are, right? That's, okay, uh, on the first place. Está en primer lugar. Why? Because remember, the verb be is an auxiliary verb. Recuerden que el verbo to be es un verbo auxiliar. Por lo tanto, ese toma la función de verbo auxiliar. All right? Good. Possible answer to this question? Yes, I am. All right? Or, no, I'm not. Yes, I am. Or, no, I'm not. Those are the ones. Okay, so we got some examples questions. Check this out. William, tell me a reading, please. Is he going to do the homework? Okay, very good. Is he going to do the homework? Yes, he does. Do you think is that correct? ¿Habrá algún mistake en este tipo de oración? ¿De respuesta? ¿Yes o no? Eh, das, el das, sí, teacher. ¿Por qué es das? Eh, bueno, cuando es tercera persona, sí hay que agregarle, se tiene que contestar con das, pero... En este caso, no sé, pienso que puede ser el DAS. Puede, piensa que puede ser el DAS. Creo, puede ser. Ajá. No sé si me equivoco, usted me corrige. Vamos a ver. Carlos. Maybe Siller, in that case, is going to. We have to add in the answer. Always. And how, and how it will be, Emanuel? ¿Cómo sería entonces, Emanuel? Yes, he going to do. Oh. ¿Y la forma corta? Emanuel? ¿En el mm. show? Yes, keep going. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, I mean, I got a, I got a, I got a uh, mistake typing in there. It is not, listen, it is not does. No does. What's the word that you're going to use? 
yes he is that's the one okay yes he is okay if you got in here i guess you know how to write in here so let's remember it is not doesn't it is isn't isn't is la contracción de is not all right it's like isn't like this no he's not or no he isn't you see you got your all right uh answers in there yeah yeah pues ya tenemos las respuestas okay good let's move let's move on okay very good let me see who can help me out reading Uh, Carlos Mauricio, tell me a reading, please. Are they going to hire new employees? Okay, good. Are they going to hire new employees? Okay, the possible answer. Yes, they are. Oh, if it is negative, no, they aren't. All right, so you got possibilities in there. Okay, before moving on with that, let's jump into this. Cool. Any question, people? Any question with this structure? Alguna pregunta con relación a esta estructura? No questions? Okay. Now, I want you to think in one. Si no tienen preguntas, entonces agreguemos una. Ok, let's add one. Quiero que me hagan una pregunta. It can be directly to me or any other person. All right, just to practice first and third person before we finish the class. Just let me know when you finish that question example. For example, what color of shirt? Are you going to wear tomorrow, William? Well, repeat, please, teacher. What color shirt are you going to wear tomorrow? What color? Yeah, what color shirt are you going to wear tomorrow? Uh, okay. Uh, Anything color. No, nah, but listen. ¿Qué color de camiseta llevará mañana? O de camisa llevará mañana. Cualquiera, pues yo digo, cualquiera, como si se dice anything. Any color. Any color. Okay. Mm. Uh, all right. Good. So this is that's the way I want you to create the, the example questions. Okay? By, by specific, uh, I go the color is white shirt. Okay, a white one. All right, very good. Good color, actually. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. Alguien que tenga su preguntita que se la haga a Xiomara, please. If, uh, if he going to the world tomorrow. Ah, okay. Xiomara, are you going to work tomorrow? Lastimosamente, yes, I am going to work tomorrow. <laughs> okay, very good. Yomara, now that you got your question, can you please ask that question tomorrow? All right. Now, right. It has to be today. Okay, good. Now, ask that question that you have to Carla. Carla, give an answer. A short one. Carla, are you going to do exercise tomorrow? That's a yes, no question. All right, by the way. Está bien, así como la dije. Repeat it again. Carla, are you going to do exercise tomorrow? Yes, it's okay. Cargando, dice Carla. 
Es que se me acaba de olvidar la palabra ahí. Exercise. Exercise. Ajá, el significado. Exercise, Carla. Exercise. Uh, uh. Exercise. No. Ejercicio, Carla. Yes, no. No entiende o no ve la respuesta. No. Oh my God, no la vendí a tu design. Es que no la entendí. No, no es la respuesta. No, no es la respuesta. Esa es la respuesta. No. no es ok, el... but, but say it completely. Completamente. Ah, ok. No. No, I not. No, I'm not. Ok, very good. No, I'm not. Thank you so much. Now, Carla, ask your question to Carlos, uh, Carlos Gamero. No tengo la pregunta, teacher, eso estaba haciendo. Oh, my God. Ok, cool. Let's do it. Carlos, do you have your question? Pues yo solo voy a hacer. Ok, ok. Go, go. Kill her. Are you going to work tomorrow? No, no, I, no, I don't. Ah, no, I'm no, not. I'm not. Yeah, no, I'm not. Okay, cool. Thank you, Carlos. Now, let me see, Veronica. I'll continue with the follow-up of questions. Can you please ask your question to Stephanie? Michelle. Okay. Michelle, are you going to eat at restaurant tomorrow? Okay, very good. No, I'm not. Easy as that, right? Thank you, Veronica. Okay. Now, Michelle, <laughs> ask that question to Ivania. Uh, is she going to travel the other month? Ah, right. This is a yes, that question. Yes, he's. Ah, okay. she's. She's, okay. Good. Thank okay, you, Michelle. Ah, okay, no problem, uh, Ivania. Now, Ivania, read your question and... Uh, Mr. Chavez is going to answer. Is he going to move to the capital tomorrow? Ivania, can you repeat me? Que no me me tocaba preguntar. Yes. Sí, pero no entendí. Disculpe. Nah, man, he ah, says to repeat the question. <laughs> Okay. Is he going to go to the capital tomorrow? Yes. Ah, to ah, okay. Everything. Yeah, he is. There you go. Thank you, Ivania. Now, Carlos, you read your question, man. And mm -hmm. Emmanuel is going to answer. Okay. Emmanuel. Uh, is he going to is he going to bed early tomorrow? Emmanuel? Uh, I think he uh, he said I I think he gonna listen. Pero... Yeah, I mean I think he's not there. I yeah, mean I think he's not there. Okay, good. But the question, I, I will answer that question, uh, Carlos, right? I will answer that question. Repeat the question again. Uh, is he going to, is he going to bed early tomorrow? All right. Okay. Is he, right? She? Yes, it's he. Okay, yes, he is, right? Let's see. 
As simple as that. Good. Uh, Carla, do you have your question? You're going to be the last one. Yes. Me corrige si está mal. Mm -hmm. Is she going to work tomorrow? Work? No, okay. Yeah, I mean, that one is correct. So you may say, okay. yes, she is. Right? Yes, she okay. is. Okay. For the answer to that positive statement and question. Now, what do I want from you people? Listen up. Actually, this is going to be for tomorrow. Listen up. In the manual, we got a series of things that we need to do. Okay. This is going to be uh, for, uh, yeah, for tomorrow. What are we going to do? Listen. Ah, okay, Edgar. All right. Da, 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 da. Listen up. Before, before the time expires, let's try to do this one. This, this, this part from here in the manual. It says, fill the form with information from the conversation. Compare your answers with a partner. Esta pequeña, uh, uh, okay, this, this, this little thing in here is de la conversación que estuvimos practicando anteriormente. Okay, now, the agent. In este caso, ¿quién creen ustedes que era el, el agent? Was it Gerardo? Or was it Jen? Jen? Exactly, right? Jen was the agent. Give me one sec. Oh, okay, it was Jen. And the guest? It's Gerardo. Ah, okay, very good. There's Gerardo. Check in. What was the check in? The time. Okay, if you don't know what you are talking about, let's go here. It says, yeah, when are you going to arrive? I am going to arrive on Friday 14. Yeah. Listen up, Friday 14. So let's go here. And I got in here. Okay, Friday. Or teams, right? Good. Next, the checkout. When is the Monday. checkout? Monday? Okay. Monday. 17th, if I'm not wrong. Okay, good. What did he chose? I mean, listen. What did he choose? Single room or bell, uh, double room? Single room. Ah, okay, very good. So it was a single room. So basically we have ended up with that part, right? With that weird part. So it says single room. Like this. Okay. By next week, people, listen. Para la próxima clase, uh, Posiblemente, eh, listen up, practiquemos una pequeña conversación adicional que tenemos con respecto a esto, los usos del verbo to be, ok, mostly the uses of information questions, más que todo para practicar las information questions, porque ahorita lo que hemos hecho es practicar simplemente las just no questions, but it's, it's good for you, you know, like to open up your mind into questions like, well, how often, what time, why, right? It's, it's really necessary. Okay, good. Like right now, I, uh, because of the time, I am going to stay in here. Por motivo de tiempo, all right? Because I don't want to have you here. Nos vamos a quedar hasta acá. Listen up. Uh, les reitero, 
si alguien no está okay, de, al día con las tareas, puede terminarlas este sábado y este domingo, right, para poder estar ya con la clase de lunes, you know, like, absuelto de cualquier tarea, right, absuelto de homework. Let's remember, recordemos los que el miércoles básicamente terminamos el módulo y, ok, y it's, it's, it's necessary, ok, to have the grades. Y es necesario, pues, yo tener sus notas. Ok, así ya de cierta manera, right, se cierra el grupo, right, se close up the group eh, y, pues, pueden evaluar sus, sus, sus calificaciones y así, pues, de cierto modo se agiliza también. Eh, la apertura del siguiente módulo, right? You, just in case you want to, you know, like, know and continue with that. Good. Before we go, people, I'm going to pass the attendance list. Antes de irnos, voy a pasar la, la, la lista de asistencia. But, listen up. Before I go, antes de irme. Teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sorry, teacher. Eh, por si me llama y se me congela de nuevo la señal, presen adelantado. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Es que me está fallando otra vez. Ah, I mean, that's, that's, that's why. Con razón. Ok, from here, people. Para, los que, para todos los que están acá, uh, ¿hay alguno que todavía le deba los 10 minutos de feedback? Acá. A mí, que nunca me lo daba. <laughs> to you, Carlos. Listen, to you, I, I'm a chat. I'm, actually, I'm going to talk to you if I can do it to you, Carlos. Ok. And if it is done, I will do it with you on Monday, okay? The thing is that the thing is that you, yeah. listen, you appear yet as a listener, and I'm not allowed to 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 use a feedback time with you. I mean, and I don't know why, but but you know, like being part of you, pero como, okay. I guess let me, let me yeah. see. No, 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 no okay, now just give me one second. Uh, I guess with all of you, I have had the, the, the 10 minutes feedback. El detalle es que como la gran mayoría se han estado como oyentes, uh, so that's why uh, los que faltan o no están conectados o, oh, okay, just simply they don't, they don't have it. For example, con usted ya lo tuve, ¿verdad, Joana? Joana? Con usted ya tuve los primeros feedback, ¿cierto? Sí, ya. No, ok, cool. So, it's... Ana, I have one in here. Jacqueline. ¿Se quedaría conmigo, Jacqueline? Ya estuve también. ¿En serio? Sí. No me está mintiendo, Jacqueline. No, de verdad ya estuve. De veritas, de veritas. De veritas, de veritas. Ya pudo su mirada acusadora. Ah. No, pero ya aunque me quiera ver, ella pues, eh, digo, digo, aunque la quiera ver, no la puedo ver. Ni siquiera sé cómo es. Imagínense, no me quiso poner la cámara. All right. I mean, ahí me have it with Raquel también. Ya lo tuve con Raquel. Right, Raquel? Yes, teacher. Yeah, man, I got it. That's cool, that's cool. With Car a Carlos fue el primero, eh? Mauricio. That was the first one. Michelle was the, the, the third one, I think. With William, I got it last week. I mean, this week. And, and with Ivania. Ivania, did, did we have the, 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 the feedback with you? Yeah, right? Just to get him. Nah. Okay. De las primeras cosas. Yeah, I mean, it's true. That's true. Now I remember. Yeah. And uh, even with you this week, right, Xiomara? No, conmigo no, Ticho. <laughs> pero, pero fíjense que hoy no, no voy a poder porque mañana tengo que trabajar a la, y entro a las 5 y 20 y me tengo que levantar a las 3 y media. Four minutes, Xiomara. Just four minutes. Deal. Se puede el lunes. <laughs> ok, on es Monday. Que sí, es que sí, Ticho, necesito descansar ya porque tengo que levantarme a las 3 y media mañana. Entro a las 5 y media a trabajar. Like Uh -huh. Sigue sí, un poco tarde. Yo también tengo que madrugar. Sí. Jesus Christ, a las 3:30. Por eso, escucho. Oh my God. Ok. It, it's, it's, it's ok, it's ok, all right. I'm going to have it with you, Xiomara, on Monday. Listen, 
eh, si les, les reitero, please, please, si ya tienen la, 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 la encuesta, el link de la encuesta, lo vamos a hacer el miércoles acá, ¿ok? Don't do it like right now, ¿ok? Because it's like, you know, part of the process, ¿ok? So don't do it like right now and, and let's try to finish that, ¿ok? Uh, next, next uh, Wednesday, when we finish everything. Good people. Bien, si no tenemos nada más que agregar entonces, cualquier duda con respecto a las tareas de la plataforma, si hay algo que no comprendamos, please write down on the chat in, in, in WhatsApp and we will fix that issue, okay? Because you will find some, some things in there in the, in the following homeworks. All right, good people. So let's see you to, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Let's see you on Monday and I hope you have a wonderful week, okay? Weekend, actually. All right, so bye-bye people. La asistencia, teacher. ¿Diren ahí? Jesus Christ. Present, teacher. Present, 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 present. ¿Qué tanto en estarles preguntando sobre las feedback? Aquí estoy, te vengo. Ay, eso es que me voy a sacar acá. Pero aquí estamos todos, teacher. No, no, no. Present, bye bye. All right, all right, give me one second. Yeah, I mean, everybody's here. All right, guys. Give me one second. Oh, my God. Bye okay, bye, teacher. good. All right, bye-bye, everybody. Now I got you in the list in here. No problem. So let's see you tomorrow, okay? On Monday. 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 Bye. Dios guarde, me va a dar algo. Ah, come on, Raquel. Bye-bye. Let's see you. All right, good. Bye, everybody. Good night, teacher. Okay, good, night, good night, teacher. Good night. All right, so basically, uh, that was part of the class that we got from today. Uh, so basically today, what we were doing is just, you know, like uh, to talk about the simple future form using be going to. We were explaining the uses of positive statements, negative statements in first, second, and third person. We also were practicing, all right, how to, you know, through the conversation, how to make a hotel reservation. Uh, probably next class, we're going to continue with that in a somehow, right? And uh, most of my students, the ones that were in there, okay, before uh, I left the class, all of them were, you know, have participated in the 10 minutes feedback. And because I have a lot of participants, that are as listeners in the class. So then that's why I don't have participants, you know, like to get included in the uh, 10 minutes feedback from this class. So that's why I decided to do it like this. So I am going just to give a short feedback from everything we have been discussing uh, right during this class. So remember, we were discussing about the uses of be going to to create future and remember the structure basically to create the be going to uh, a form is used by adding the subject and then be going to and then the main verb right in base form okay in base form plus a complement and for example we got in here uh, if i got the structure subject plus be going to plus main verb plus complement right so in that case this is like for a positive statement so i can say i am going to play soccer tomorrow you see 
I have it here on this plate. Okay, you are going to buy a new computer. All right, so you see, she is going to listen up, send the report. So we can create this type of examples, right? So this one, it's just for uh, uh, singular, first person, you know, like and second person. Now, how can I make this one, this positive statements into negative statements? All right, easy. We just got the subject plus B, all right? Okay, in this case, plus not, plus going to, plus main verb, plus complement. Complement, like this. Example, I, listen up, I am not going to, Take that up. I am not going to, okay, watch TV after class. You are not going to pay attention to the boss. He is not going to listen up. Um, hire new employees. Okay, so in that case, those are like the positive and negative statements. Now, how can the structure act in question forms? In question forms, for example, in question forms, we got B. Plus subject plus going to plus main verb plus complement and the complement plus question form, right? A question symbol. Example, take this out. Are you going to? Send the package. Are you going to send the package? You must say, yes, I am, or oh, no, I am not. You see? And this is the way how can we create this type of a structure, right? So this was basically the whole topic discussion about, right? So most of my students are working in, in, in how to how to do the, 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 the homework in the platform. So everything is going okay with this, right? And that was part of what we were discussing in the class time. So this is everything for tonight. So let's see you guys in another video conference on Monday. Good night.